Hey, they're going to be showing you guys how to uh, do this install on a 2014 or 2015 Silverado uh, Cattleman brush guard because uh, I had some issues trying to get it installed. I did get mine used, um, so part of it was already put together, uh, but the main misconception I had was that you had to remove the uh, tow hooks, but that is not the case. Uh, you can install them with the uh, tow hooks installed, you just have to loosen up some bolts uh, and then uh, attach the brackets itself. So let me get underneath and then I'll show you what needs to be done underneath. All right, so this is the driver's side um, towing hook here. Uh, so you have your two bolts right there. Uh, your back bolt is the one this bolt is the one that uh, doesn't go all the way through. The front bolt is the one that goes all the way through. Um, so you'll have to loosen up the front bolt, which connects on this side right here. Um, it is a bit of a hassle to get to. Um, I wasn't able to get any power tools in here. So uh, you have to do it by hand and it's a fairly big bolt and you have to uh, just go at it for a while. Uh, but so once you loosen that up, you can uh, pass through the mounting bracket that goes through the the towing hook uh, area. Um, so right now I'm missing a bolt because uh, my one of the nuts I, I had is uh, missing. Um, but so the this is the driver's side. So this is what that mounting bracket looks like. Uh, it has this like little L shape that goes through, and then there's this bracket. This bracket right here, um, that one connects to the other side, and then you'll pass a, a nut through there to secure this up. But then you loosen up, you loosen up uh, this bolt, remove it, and then you'll put on this bracket itself. Um, and that's pretty much it for the passenger side, oh, I'm sorry, driver's side. And uh, so then you'll have this bracket itself here. Um, so this goes underneath all this area right here and it'll connect up through and then it'll be this area where it connects up to uh, to the actual truck itself. So the right bolt and then this little uh, bolt as well. And then let me uh, show you the passenger side. It's fairly similar but it does have a little bit of difference. Alright, so the passenger side here um, I had to dremel the, uh, the bracket a little bit. Um, so for this one, it's got this little hole here. So this is what I had to dremel to make this little hole bigger here. Um, and then, so basically the bolt slides over that hole and then you just slide it over that. You do have to remove this bolt itself to, uh, install that. And then, so same thing here. This is what the mounting bracket looks like on this side. And all that and so that's where you'll connect it at right there and then so you don't want to have these all tighten up um, so that way you can adjust the, the actual brush guard itself so have those a little bit loose and then you can do this all by one person itself um, and so these brackets down here it's got this little this little lip on this side so you're able to just put the brush guard on there and then I just held it with you know my hands and my chest and then uh, just pulled put in the uh, bolts so that way uh, be supportive and then just you know adjust it how you need to and then tighten down the bolts um, and that is pretty much it for the install for this cattleman I'll, uh, I'll post a link on the actual uh, diagram for how everything's supposed to be installed because uh, that helped me out on how to get it installed so if you have any questions let me know